Now, in just over two weeks' time, voters around Britain will be heading to the polls. In Scotland and Wales, there are parliamentary elections, while in England, voters will be choosing who will sit on their councils. Residents of Hartlepool will also be voting for an MP in a by-election. Well, Arana Foster is spending the day there. The sun's shining, Anna. It's all looking good. What are the election prospects? Hiya. Hello, Clive. The, the prospects here are absolutely fascinating because it's a it's a huge by-election for both Labour and the Conservatives. Labour see it as one of their real heartland seats. Labour since 1974, they're desperate to hang on to it. The Conservatives, though, they hope that it could go the way that so many Labour seats went in the northeast of England back in December of 2019 at the general election. Of course, it being a by-election, it's always hard to compare to a general, isn't it? You've got a whole list of, of independent candidates in the mix as well, 16 candidates in total standing in that by-election. So how is it to stand as an independent? Um, one man is with me who, who knows exactly what it's like to do that job, Stuart Drummond, the former elected mayor of Hartlepool. Stuart, I hate to do this to you, and everybody will do this to you every time you do an interview, but most people from outside the area will remember you as the football mascot, the independent, Hangus the monkey, who confounded expectations back in 2002 when you got elected. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I only stood in the election for a bit of fun, a bit of a joke. As of as the same as this year, the team were doing really well at the time, um, and you know, got a bit of publicity. And I thought, well, I might as well see it through. Never stood in an election before, and lo and behold, ended up winning. But then went on to win two more terms. That's the bit of the story, I think a lot of people don't know that, that in fact you made a, a huge success of, of being the mayor as you say you were you were re-elected as Stuart Drummond yeah. on two more occasions what is it like to to do a job like that as an independent without a, a big party machine behind you is it is it the sort of thing that an independent candidate in this by-election could manage I think there's a certainly a difference between being an elected mayor than there is as an MP um, and I think you have a lot more I guess you can you can affect what's happening locally a lot more as an elected mayor because you're you're leader of the council effectively and you're, you're the budget holder, you're the one with the responsibility to spend the money and you're directly accountable for the public for that. Uh, and I guess as an independent in Westminster, it will be really difficult to influence um, decision makers to for the benefit of Hartlepool. That said, um, you know, it will be easier I suppose to get in front of the the government of the day um, because you're not necessarily seen as a threat. Hartlepool Marine is it's looking beautiful this evening. It's it's the very best of the town. But obviously this is a is a place, as many up and down the country, that has challenges as well. What do the politicians need to do here to try and address that? What should they be focusing on in Hartlepool? Uh, well, it, it's all the same sort of things. Is is investment? Is bringing jobs? Um, looking at housing issues, um, education, all of the the usual things that get rolled out when it comes to election. Hartlepool is, is the same as anywhere else, as you say. That said, we've got some very, very strong assets, uh, probably one of the best um, further education colleges in the country. Young people are get, uh, getting highly skilled, highly trained to come into these jobs that, that will be coming in the region. So there's a lot that MPs can come in and work with. And, you know, I think what they need to do is understand the town, understand the people of the town. I often call it uh, the biggest village in the country. There's a really strong community spirit and, and people need to understand that. And, and if they do, uh, the people will look after them and support them. Thank you, Stuart. Stuart Drummond, the former uh, directly elected mayor of Hartlepool. So all eyes, Clive, in two weeks' time will, of course, be on the various local elections that are going on, but the by-election here in Hartlepool, it's seen as a test of the leadership on both sides. Um, a lot of people I've spoken to today, they feel it's too close to call. They feel it could go either way. So it will be seen as absolutely crucial, the result of this one. Indeed. OK, Anna, good to see you. Anna Foster there in Hartlepool.